Number one, know your personality and trading style. While day trading and short-term bets may sound exciting, the truth is that Vince's wealth has not come from short-term bets. It's come from trading trends over weeks, months and years. While brokers and bookmakers like to generate more business from active customers, the winners in the long run are the least active traders. If you're more conservative, you won't be suited to short-term in and out trading. As a trend trader, Vince isn't glued to his screen all day. He only checks prices at the end of the day and on some trades only once a week. Number two, money management is the key to survival. A good trader doesn't need to make money that often. In fact, you could get 80% of your trades wrong and still make money. Let's say you lose £100 on eight trades and you then make £500 on two trades. You're in profit. However sure you are that the market will crash or XYZ is going to soar, make your first trade a small one and then, if you're correct, add more to that trade. Pyramiding a successful trade is the key to making large returns. Never add to a losing trade. Number three, cut losses and let winners run. Everyone tells you this, but few can do it. Trading comes down to psychology and everyone wants to win. Nobody likes to be wrong or be classed as a loser. Most unsuccessful traders take profits quickly, yet they'll let losing trades run and run as they hope things will get better. You should have a mechanical approach to exits and entries. That is, you have a cutout point set on opening a trade. Financial bookmakers offer a guaranteed stop loss on most products. This means that you can place a bet knowing the most you can lose is say £200, yet your profit could be unlimited. Another good tip is to trail stops, which means you lock in some profits yet keep the trade running. Once a trade moves into profit, you can move the stop loss to your entry point. This means that the worst case scenario is a break even trade. Many class spread trading as risky or for gamblers. This is totally untrue, as in fact with a guaranteed stop loss, your risk is totally known ahead of time, unlike buying shares with a stockbroker. Another point is that most new traders spend too much time planning when to get in and buy, when in fact they should spend much more time on the exit strategy and how much they're going to trade. Learn to trade the right way with Vince Danzioni. His course has already helped traders around the world trade profitably and get the results they deserve. Join the hundreds of traders already learning from Vince Stanzioni at www.fintrader.net.